Okay, on this video I will be showing you how to share files and folders between your Ubuntu based machine and a Windows machine. The first thing you will have to do is go to your Synaptic Package Manager. Search for Samba. Now um, you'll have to install Samba. After you do that, it gets very simple. You go find the file or folder that you would like to share. So I'm going to go to my home directory here and I am going to be sharing my public folder. To do this, all I have to do is right click the folder, go to sharing options, and I will get this window. Now to share this folder, you'll have to check share this folder. If you would like to change the name, you can go ahead and do that, but I'm just going to leave it as default. And if you want the users on the, on the Windows machine to be able to write on this folder, you can go ahead and check this. Allow other people to write in this folder. You will also have to check this. And you just go ahead and um, click Create share. Now when you do that you notice that there's this little emblem here. It's just showing us that, it's, that this folder is being shared. After you do that, you go to your Windows machine. I'm gonna be doing this on a, on a virtual machine. In your Windows machine you go to start there's actually two ways of doing this. You can either go to my, um, my network places or you can just go to run and you type two backslashes followed by your computer name. Now if you don't know your computer name what you can do in your um, in your Ubuntu machine, you can go ahead and go to Applications. Actually, go to System Administration and go to System Monitor. Now, in your System tab, your computer name will be the first thing in this window. So, in my case, I have Amzer Dash Desktop. And it, uh, in your machine, it will most likely be your username dash desktop. Now we needed to know that because after you type two backslashes, the next thing will be your uh, Ubuntu machine name. Following that, you do another backslash and then the name of the shared folder. In our case, we have public. And you go ahead, since I'm doing this in a, um, a virtual machine, the machine name is VBox Server. Anyways, once you type this, click OK, and your shared folder will pop up. Now to test this, I'm going to go ahead and create a file here. Uh, let's create a text document. And we'll just name it test. Now if I go back to my Ubuntu machine on the public folder we find test.txt. So anything you will uh, when you put anything in this folder it will be available for your um, Windows machine. Same thing is true uh, about your Windows based machine. That's it. Thanks for watching.